We have just embarked on this $2 billion ship, the world's largest ship in the world, Royal Caribbean's Icon of the Seas. Come on board as we walk deck by deck and check out this incredible ship. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and let's go check out the Icon of the Seas. This video is brought to you by GoPort. We recently tried GoPort's Fly, Snooze, and Cruise package to take us to our cruise from Port Canaveral. All transportation was taken care of. Once we made it to our room, we were excited for a great night's sleep before our cruise. The next morning, GoPort met us in the lobby, took our bags, and walked us directly to our bus, which was going to take us to the cruise. GoPort will be taking cruisers to Star of the Seas when it's released and sailing out of Port Canaveral in 2025. GoPort got us there and it can get you there too. It's JJ Cruise approved. More details in the description. We are starting our tour on deck number 18 and we are here at the Grove. The Grove is the sweet sun deck area. So this area is open to those staying in suites. Now the Grove is a brand new area where suites can eat. This is open currently. You can see they have hot food up here and then a, a collection of salads and small bites. And then this is the suite's sun deck. This is expansive. It is one of the largest suite neighborhood areas that we've ever seen on a Royal Caribbean ship. There is a hot tub up here with a shower. You've got plenty of seating. So you've got day beds, lots of very comfortable lounge chairs. And then of course there is a pool up here. So there is a private pool with a bar. So you can see the sweet bar right there. I love the fresh tropical Caribbean colors here. And then there is the pool. So again, if you're in a suite, this is gonna be the area for you. Beautiful views, lots of places to sit, chill, hang out. And this does go up another deck. So there is a deck 19 you can see the stairs there in front of me that has another area for the sweet guests to hang out, chill and lounge on their Caribbean vacation. Let's hop on down to deck number 17. We've come down one more deck and so this is the forward bank of elevators on deck 17. And now you'll notice these elevator banks look very different. They're completely redesigned. There is a touch screen right here. You will touch whichever deck you're looking to go to and then it will tell you what letter of elevator to go to. So if you're going down to deck four and it says J, you'll come right here to J and you will get in the elevators. But let's take a look at Coastal Kitchen, which is sit set right off of the deck 17 elevator bank. This is of course going to be the restaurant for sweet guests. Now this is also a very large coastal kitchen. It's one of the first coastal kitchens that we've seen on a Royal Caribbean cruise ship that is two levels. So we're up here, of course, on deck 17 on the top level, and then you can see deck 16 right below. And of course, this has a beautiful onlook into the Aquadome, which we will get to eventually. But very, very cool. It's really nice in here. It's got a lot of nice, rich, dark tones. There is a bar here as well. So again, if you are staying in a suite on Icon of the Seas, this will be your restaurant. We're going to continue to walk outside on the outer decks and we're going into cloud 17. Now off of the elevator banks is where you will have the corridors for some of those staterooms. So you'll see those right past the elevator banks there. As we walk out onto deck 17, you'll notice this iconic statue of the diver and the beautiful bright colors. This of course overlooks the new swim up bar, the swim and tonic but we are gonna just take a walk here on deck number 17. Now up here, you do have a lot of different loungers and areas to sit, as well as a pool. So you'll see these day beds and then the beautiful cloud 17 pool that sits all the way to the edge of the ship. So this is almost like an infinity pool where you can get incredible views. This is one of the smaller pools on board, but it is going to be one of the most popular ones. So if this is a pool area that you want to come check out, I'd highly recommend coming up here early in the day to get yourself a spot. There is a towel station up here, of course, on Royal Caribbean. You do check your towels in and out with your C-Pass, so you can do that right there. 
And then of course, one of the best bars in the Royal Caribbean fleet is the Lime and Coconut. And you can see this right here off of the Cloud 17 pool. You have a nice little seating area up here, again, with some additional chairs. You can see all the beautiful views here right off the side of the pool, looking onto the other decks. We're going to be exploring every single deck of Icon of the Seas today, so you're going to want to stay tuned and watch this till the end. But these champagne hot tubs we have seen on other cruise ships. Let me know what that champagne hot tub reminds you of and what other cruise ship you've maybe seen us in. It might be one of our favorite ships, but that might be changing today because Icon of the, sea, the Seas seems pretty epic. So you'll notice this path along the way with loungers to my left and to my right. There's also some very cool architecture up here, some built-in shade over some of these loungers. So if you are wanting to come up here and maybe not be in the hot, hot sun, you can definitely get a little bit of shade, catch a little bit of break up here. There's a staircase in front of me that will take you down to deck number 16. And again, we will get down there in just a moment, but there's some pretty incredible things that lie above. Check out this view of Thrill Island. Of course, this is going to be where the Category 6 water park will be on board, the largest water park on a cruise ship. We're gonna walk right in these glass doors here. And this is going to take us across and into the sports court. So we do have another elevator bank here. So three of the elevators, A, B, and C, will come up to this side of the ship. And we'll take you either to cloud 17 or over to the sports court. Now there will be a lot of walking that you will do when coming on Icon of the Seas. Obviously that goes without saying when you're looking at the world's largest cruise ship. But right off those glass doors, we do have, of course, the basketball court. Right now, this is set up for pickleball. Pickleball has become one of the most popular sports on a cruise ship. Now, before we get in here, I do just wanna show that there is a water station and they have a place to fill up your water bottle up here on deck 17. So water bottles are gonna be something you will want to bring with you so you can fill those up. It'll save you money too if you don't have a drink package. There is a seating area up here. And then the sports court is massive. This is one of the largest, I think, basketball courts that I have seen. It's appropriate since it is the icon of the seas, the world's largest ship. So that is deck number 17. We're gonna hop on down to deck number 16. We are here on deck number 16. Now, what I love about this elevator bank, we are more towards the aft section of the ship. You have Thrill Island, through those thrilling doors right there. And on the other side, you have Chill Island. So we're gonna visit both of these neighborhoods, but we're gonna start by going to Thrill Island. Now Thrill Island has category six, which is six different water slides, as well as the Flow Rider. So right out through these doors, you're gonna have the epic entrance to Thrill Island. I think that this is such a cool neighborhood. Obviously this is brand new for Royal Caribbean, but take a look at this entrance right here. Right before you go in, there is a towel station. So you've got the towel station right here, which is really nice. So if you forget your towels by the pool, you can just walk up here, grab a couple of towels. You do have a shower right here on my right as well as a few different seating areas. I love those little baskets to sit in. Those are so cool. Now, there's going to be a few different entrances for some of these water slides. It looks like right here up these steps, you're going to be able to experience the pressure drop, Hurricane Hunter, and Storm Surge. So those are three of the slides. I already can tell you that there's gonna be so many photo ops up here. The Thrill Seeker, that is the name of that boat that looks like it just didn't make it. I am really obsessed with the colors on the ship. I mean, this truly feels like a Caribbean vacation. 
Honestly, I don't know if there's any other ship that I'm ever gonna wanna take to the Caribbean because of the way that this area and this entire ship just looks. The vibes are here. Okay, so here is a sign. Obviously, we passed three of those water slides. There's two more water slides to my right, so we're gonna keep walking. Looks like you've got the pickup and drop off station for the Storm Chaser mats. And then you do have another little seating section here. And the flow rider is actually up here. So right up these steps, you will have the flow rider. Just past the flow rider and the mat station, you're gonna have additional seating areas. You've got some beautiful seating areas right here off the back of the ship. Again, just incredible views with another staircase that does go up to that flow rider. Right in front of us, we do have the entrance to two more of the water slides, the storm chasers and the frightening bolt. So right up those steps, you'll be able to find some more thrills. And I do love that they have these up here. They have got little cubby stations for you to leave things. So of course, things like shoes, maybe your shirt that you came in or your bathing suit cover up, as well as towels. And then tucked right underneath the staircase, you do have another shower. There are showers everywhere. It's very important to stay clean and wash your body off before ever getting in a body of water on a cruise ship. We have got, of course, mini golf up here as well. This mini golf looks awesome. Completely redesigned, looks very different from the Wonder of the Seas miniature golf. You're bound to have some fun there on the golf course. Tucked away back here at the back of Deck 16 and behind Thrill Island is going to be the hideaway. The hideaway is now the adults only area. So this area is for those that are 18 and up. You will see a couple of hot tubs up here. A really nice large seating area. And right down these steps, you're going to have what I think is going to become the infamous pool for Icon of the Seas. Now you see this body of water has a few different elements to it. Of course, you do have those day beds there, which you can rent. You've got chairs that go in the water. And then you have this beautiful, beautiful pool that is suspended above the decks. It's a little bit freaky, but you cannot catch views like this on any other cruise ship. It is absolutely beautiful. You've got some additional seating here. You've got stadium seating, so plenty of lounge chairs to relax on. There is a towel station directly across from me here in the hideaway section of the ship. And then you do have a full bar right on the other side of that towel station. So again, this has become the adults only area. It was not originally intended to be that on Icon of the Seas, but now that is what it is. I love that floating matte gold statue. That's really cool. We're gonna take um, a couple of steps back upstairs so we can see the rest of deck number 16. We have come up those stairs and we are continuing to check out Thrill Island. Now, right in front of me, you do have stairs that will take you directly up to the other side of that sports court, so just where we were. Beyond that, we do have the base camp area. So of course, you've got the base camp bar right here. Um, there are new drinks at this bar, a lot of different drinks that go along with the theming of Thrill Island. And then there is the Base Camp Restaurant. Now this is a brand new dining venue for Royal Caribbean. We haven't seen this on any other cruise ships. There are both paid for options here as well as free options. There's three free options as of right now as the ship is opening up. You've got hot dogs, pretzels, and tater tots that are complimentary. Then I will show this menu here. It looks like you've got waffle chicken nuggets, Wisconsin cheese curds, which I love, a crispy shrimp bao bun, and a couple of other options. So they're just opening up here this morning. But you'll have to let me know in the comments if you've come to base camp and if you like the food. There is, of course, a freestyle machine here, Coca-Cola Freestyle. So if you got that drink package and that cup, it's going to be a place where you're going to be able to go and get a refill. Right off of the base camp restaurant, you do have rock climbing. 
So there was a lot of questions that we had gotten if they had done away with rock climbing or if there wasn't gonna be rock climbing on the ship. It is on the ship, it's just not on the back of the ship, which we're so used to seeing for Royal Caribbean. So it's up here on the side, back in the real island. It's called Adrenaline Peak, and you'll get ready right here, directly off the, uh, the elevator banks. So we came out the opposite doors where the entrance to the water slides were. You have a couple of bathrooms right here off of the elevator bank. And then right beside the bathrooms where you see all of these people gathering in front of me is the Crown's Edge. It's the new experience where you get to walk out over the ocean around the Royal Caribbean logo and check in for that experience is right here on deck number 16. Past the Crown's Edge, you are gonna have an, another walkway that's gonna take you from one side of 16 to the other. And of course, this walkway is going to be lined, adorned with all types of chairs, seating areas. Um, and you do have some cabanas up here as well. Now those cabanas are always, of course, for rent. So you can check that out in your cruise planner on RoyalCaribbean.com. There is a station up here for a band. So of course, for sail away and different things, you've got a nice open area here that I think is gonna be great for those party island vibes as you're sailing out of Miami or wherever this ship will take you in the world to see different ports. Something that's fun that's up here on deck number 16 that is kind of tucked away is a slide. It's like a hidden slide to get you down to one of the other decks. And then of course, we've got a beautiful overlook here of the rest of the ship. You can see that incredible art piece over there of all the different striking colors. You can see other pools. There is so much going on here on Icon of the Seas. And between these two bright colorful pillars, you are going to have another lime and coconut bar. Now this lime and coconut bar has all kinds of frozen drinks. Looks like the price of these frozen drinks are $12.99. But of course, if you do have that deluxe beverage package, those would be included in that. Now we are gonna walk around to the other side of this glass wall because of course this is where the swim up bar is going to be swim and tonic. This is a such a cool innovation. I have never seen a swim up bar on a cruise ship before. Now there's a couple of cabanas here of course off of the side of this pool, but I have a feeling that this pool and this hot tub over here will be one of the most popular places on the ship. Just off of the Swim and Tonic Bar, you do have Deck 16 aft bank of elevators. This is going to be where your entrance to the main level of Coastal Kitchen will be. So of course, Coastal Kitchen is on 16 and 17. One thing I did want to point out, right outside of Swim and Tonic is going to be your bathrooms, and they look like this. This is the men's restroom, again, right off of the pool, and the women's looks like this. So when you see these symbols around the ship, that's going to notify you that that is a bathroom for you to use. We have come right down to deck number 15. So we're in the forward bank of elevators on deck number 15. Now you have some incredible things here at the front of the ship, but probably the most important and the thing that is the crowning jewel of the icon of the seas is the Aquadome. This is the newly redesigned aqua theater here on Icon of the Seas. Of course, it sets all the way at the front of the ship. It's covered by that giant dome looking thing that you can see from the outside of the ship. And there is a lot to see and do in this area. Honestly, this area has a little bit of everything. So not only does it have the incredibly stunning aqua theater, you have food up here. There are two specialty restaurants. The first is Celebration Table, a brand new dining experience. And then you do have hooked seafood, which we have seen on some of the Oasis class ships and some of the other ships in the fleet. In addition to those two restaurants, you do have Rye and Bean, which is going to be the coffee shop on board. So you can see that right here. And then one of the coolest areas that is on the ship that is brand new is the Overlook. You can see these pods with the staircases that go up to these little private areas. There's of course a bar here, so a brand new bar to the Royal Caribbean fleet, an area where you can come and drink. And this is one of the most stunning places on the ship to catch views. So you're gonna be able to sit here and watch the ship, look out to where it's going. I can't wait to see some of the Instagram pictures, the TikToks. I know there's already been things that have been put out there by creators, but this area is truly incredible. 
just off of the elevator bank, you do have fast casual food. This is going to be the Aquadome Market. Now, you're gonna see a lot of different small stations. We've seen things like this come from other cruise lines. Virgin has a cafeteria that's similar to this. We've seen the new Disney ship have something similar to this. So this might be the way of the future in terms of free casual food on cruise ships. But of course, you see Crim de la Crim, which is a crepes place, ginger, mac and cheese, feta Mediterranean, and toast and garden. So of course, this area is going to be free. So this is free included food. You have a hand washing station right there as soon as you walk in. Of course, you can see a lot of different places to sit and eat. And then begins the different food stations. So you have the crepe station right there, ginger, which is going to be Asian food, and it all smells so good. Max, which is the mac and cheese bar, feta Mediterranean, which is gonna be things like pita and wraps. You can see the meat back there on the skewers, toast and garden, which will be of course salads and small sandwiches. And then this entrance over here is gonna be another area that you can use to get into the Aquadome. So you do see a beverage station right there with additional seating. And this is the kind of last of the venues on the front of the ship. So we're gonna to continue to walk. There's more chill islands to see on deck number 15. So we are gonna head out that way. Stepping outside the elevator bank here onto deck 15, you're gonna notice an extension of places to eat. So if there's not enough chairs and tables in that little dining venue, you can come out here and sit and eat on deck 15. There's actually quite a few places to sit out here. Lots of comfortable seating. You've got these green pod looking chairs, which are very cool. And then additional tables right off of another lime and coconut bar. So that is three lime and coconut bars so far that we have seen. You're gonna to wanna to look at deck 15 almost like a jogging track because you are gonna have things on both sides. So we're on the left-hand side of the ship right now and we're coming up on another pool. Now you do see right in front of me an additional shower station. You've got easy access to get up to deck number 16. So there's the other lime and coconut bar with all the frozen drinks up there. But I'm just gonna show you this additional pool. Now this I believe is the largest pool on board and it is quite big. You do see two hot tubs on either side of the pool, and then you have those beautiful in-the-water loungers, as well as more day beds. I will say, I think that this ship is going to break a record when it comes to day beds, and maybe showers too. <laughs> you see another shower right there in front of me. On the other side of the pool, you will see, of course, a towel station, as well as stairs that will take you up to Thrill Island. So you do have those important things, and then bathrooms also right off of the pool. Now we're gonna to continue to walk the decks here and go inside because this is where one of the most important venues is. This is going to be the Windjammer. Now we have made it to the back side of the ship. This is where the aft bank of elevators is. And just as you come in here past the elevators is going to be Windjammer Marketplace, which is of course the tried and true buffet here on Royal Caribbean. There's a lot of excitement here today. Of course, this is one of the preview sailings. Take a look at the sculpture here. You have people reminding you to stop and wash your hands. Very important before you come into the buffet. But take a look at this. That is absolutely beautiful and iconic. Now there are two sides to the buffet and they do mirror each other. So you can pick a side and go with it, but you're gonna have a lot of different stations here. Um, you're gonna, of course, have a salad bar. You're gonna have different hot stations. You're going to have a grill, plenty of desserts, and then plenty of places to sit. I do like that they've kind of separated this into the two sections and mirrored it on either side, because it does give you that opportunity to, well, run into less people <laughs> as you're picking up your food. So of course you got a soup station, a carving station here. There is um, a couple of bars up here as well as those refill, those Coca-Cola freestyle machines. So if you got the unlimited beverage package, you will come in here, be able to get your soda. And then back here at the back, you do have hot dogs and burgers as well as the stir fry station. That is very important because the stir fry station is often overlooked. When you get on specifically Royal Caribbean ships, they normally have an awesome stir fry, uh, fresh stir fry station. This is the very back of the Windjammer. It is a little bit more quiet back here. 
Again, plenty of places to sit, eat, chill, enjoy. They also have quite a few long tables here, which is really nice for uh, families. If you come here with three, four, five kids, it looks like there's gonna be a lot of different options for you to sit with your family up here, which I think is really nice. The ship is truly catering to families with kids, and I think we're seeing that here in the buffet as well. We're gonna continue to walk outside, but this was Windjammer Buffet. The food just doesn't stop there though. As we're walking back out into Chill Island, there's another great food place. You've got El Loco Fresh here. This is of course Royal Caribbean's fast casual Mexican food. And then the Cantina Fresca Bar. So you're gonna have your margarita bar here. And just past that will be all of the food. So if you like nachos, quesadillas, burritos, you're gonna be able to get that up here at El Loco Fresh. Something else that I really like that they have up here at El Loco Fresh is they've got stations for condiments, cheese, lettuce, salsa, all of the different toppings that you could want for your, your nachos. They've got a hand washing station out here and then plenty of places to sit and eat. Check out these incredible, I wanted to call them day beds, but I think they might just be places for either people to lay or kids to play. But how cool are these little seating areas right here off of El Loco Fresh? Never seen anything like that before. Yes, it does look like this is a play area for kids. So you see you have some stepping stools right there. I see a swing directly passed through the pillar. And of course, more seating areas and surprise, surprise, another pool. We'll walk over here and check this pool out. Something that I am loving already is at every single pool so far that we've seen, there has been a towel station. And right through those wooden pillars, you've got another towel station right there. Here is this pool area, which again is all the way on the edge of the ship. The pools just offer incredibly stunning views to the outside. You have another shower station there. And once again, lots and lots of seating. Now there is a um, staircase that will take you, of course, up to deck number 16. And here's a shocker. There is another lime and coconut bar over here. Incredible. There's some interesting art there that's coming out of the plants. And then of course you do have another hot tub, the really cute seating area right outside that hot tub. The ship does not lack places to sit, that is for sure. We're gonna step out here between the plants. And I told you, this is kind of like a jogging track. So we did start all the way at the forward bank of elevators. We walked all the way one side into the Windjammer Marketplace and then came back out. This is a nice shaded section of chairs here on deck 15, more towards the forward of the ship. So if you are looking to just relax, maybe catch a nap without getting sunburnt, this would be a great place to do it. Just off of that seating area is where the ping pong area will be. So you see this right here, great place to play ping pong. We've got four different tables there and then more bathrooms right here off of the ping pong tables directly through these doors will take us back in to the forward bank of elevators where the Aquadome is and the Aquadome Marketplace is. We have actually come down to deck number 14. So we're here in the elevator lobby right under where the Aquadome is. And this is actually where the Vitality at Sea entrance is located. Now this does span two decks, decks 14 and deck 12. There is no deck 13 on Icon of the Seas. As we walk in here, you do have the Vitality Cafe. We, of course, saw this on the Oasis class ships. This is gonna be where you can come and get fresh juices. There's an area here that you can sit and wait if you are waiting on your spa treatment. But this will be the lobby and area where you can check in for all of your spa services. They do have a dry bar on board. So to drive for, of course, is going to be a hair salon. You can see this, it's absolutely beautiful in here. And then there's all different types of services that you can get here, manicures, pedicures, you can get a blowout down here, of course, for an additional charge. 
but this is really, really cool in here. And then they do have a place where you can get your um, haircut on board as well if you are looking for that. Directly across from To Dry For is of course going to be the Thermal Suite. Now this is a suite specifically for those that purchase a pass for their cruise. I am on a three night preview and that pass is $149. Now for seven nights, you can expect that to be um, an additional cost because the cruise is longer. So you have a row of thermal beds here. We walked right past the steam room as well as the hammam room that is right there. You've got towel stations as well as water stations. And this is going to be your shower area. Really pretty. The color of these tiles are incredible. So you've got different types of water treatments that you can get here in the shower. And then plenty of places to lay. You have another shower on this side as well. You can see that right there. And then another room right here. So this is of course the sauna. Nice and toasty in there. But again, you do need to purchase a pass to come in here. This is not included in services at the spa. So this would be a week long pass that you would buy. You would look for that in the cruise planner and then you'd be able to use this thermal suite as much as you'd like throughout the week. Down the steps behind the check-in is going to be lockers where you're going to put, punch in a code to place your stuff as well as of course additional rooms for things like massages or other services that you may want. So come and check out the spa. You can purchase those things either before you get on board or you can come here on day one of your cruise. If you are looking for those thermal suite passes, I have been told that they do book up very quickly. So it will be something that you'll wanna check out right away. Down on deck number 12 is another area where the spa does go 14 and 12, but we are gonna hop down a couple decks to the next neighborhood. We have come down to deck number eight. Now, decks 9, 10, 11, and then the rest of 12 are going to be, of course, stateroom decks. So there's a good chance that your stateroom will be located on one of those decks here on the Icon of the Seas. Now you have some, a couple of things here in the forward bank of elevators. Of course, you do have the entrance to Central Park. We will go there in just a minute. But then you also have a brand new dining experience called the Empire Supper Club. So we're going to go in here and check this out. This is, of course, the not just specialty dinner, but specialty dinner experience. So currently here in 2024, this is $200 per person. It's something that you can purchase in your cruise planner. And this is not only a meal, it's a cocktail experience as well as a live jazz band. You can check this out in here. It is absolutely stunning. Now they do only accommodate tables of two and four in here. So you can see that it is very small. It's very intimate. There's not a lot of room for large groups or a large amount of people, but you're gonna get eight different courses as well as eight cocktail courses for the price of admission into this dinner experience. Absolutely is stunning and it looks beautiful. We're gonna step back outside and we are going to check out Central Park. Central Park is one of the neighborhoods that we've seen on the Oasis class ship. It's uh, become one of my favorite neighborhoods on some of the other ships. So I'm really excited to check this neighborhood out. Uh, as we step out here, it just looks stunning. So you have a number of different restaurant experiences as well as bars here on deck number eight. We're going to start here on the left. You do have Chops Grill. Of course, Chops Grill is going to be your standard specialty restaurant that's found on a lot of different um, Royal Caribbean ships. That is their signature steakhouse. So that is for an upcharge and that is a place if you like steak that you'll want to check out. Directly across from Chops, it's going to be Izumi Hibachi and Sushi. So this is going to be your sushi restaurant on board and then they will have hibachi in here as well. So you can see inside of here, you have the sushi area in the front. 
And then you do have those hibachi stations in the back. It's a really cool private hibachi room there all the way at the back of the restaurant. So again, these are specialty restaurants, experiences for an additional charge. As we walk out here, there is something else that's very new. Azumi is of course not new to the fleet, but Azumi in the park is. Now this is a casual walk up station where you can pay for sushi to go. So you can come over here to the station. They've got the sushi in the window and they will hook you up with sushi right there. Directly across from Azumi is going to be the trellis bar. The trellis bar is one of the bars that we've seen on other Central Park neighborhoods. But something that's new here with this trellis bar in Central Park is small bites. So they do have, for an additional charge, some small, they, they call them elegant dinner bites or pre like dinner appetizers that you can get there for an additional purchase. So you can check those out at the trellis bar here on deck number eight. This is so beautiful. It is fresh. Something that we were promised when they were unveiling the designs of this ship is ocean views from Central Park. And here those are. You can look out and look through the Pearl Cafe, which we will get to in a little bit, and you can check out outside. That is a brand new innovation for this area and very cool. Now, but now right on the other side of the glass is of course gonna be the Pearl which is the three-story giant architecture and entrance into the Pearl Cafe on uh, one of the lower decks. So we're gonna get down there and check that out. But something else that you have up here is Park Cafe. So Park Cafe is going to be free, included food. They're gonna have things like sandwiches, salads. Um, it's a great place to come for breakfast or for lunch. They have a panini grill in here as well. So they've got grab and go stations as well as hot sandwich stations and salads. They do have a coffee and juice station in here. And this is very similar to the Park Cafe that we have seen on the Oasis class ships. So we have seen this Park Cafe before. It's not new to the Royal Caribbean fleet, but it still has that beautiful, fresh feeling for being a brand new ship. Out here, we're gonna continue to see the incredible, incredible landscape. Now. Royal Caribbean International, I'm talking Royal Caribbean and Celebrity, has done something that not a lot of other cruise ships have done, and they have a whole horticultural team that lives on the ship full time just to take care of the plants, because all of these plants up here are living. Something that I love about the Central Park is how open it feels. It feels a lot more open than I think some of the other Central Park areas that we've seen on some of the other ships. We have a brand new music venue here on my right. This is Lou's Jazz and Blues. This is gonna be the jazz bar on board. Can take a look inside here really quick. This is a very small, intimate venue. They have a bar there where you're gonna be able to come and listen to live music. Really, really cool venue. And then you've got floor to ceiling greenery living plants and right across from the jazz and blue bar blues bar excuse me is going to be a high-end store so you can see right over here is regalia jewelry you're going to have bright watches there's a lot of different high-end brands here so jewelry and watches looks like is what is sold up here on deck eight for the shops so for those of you that enjoy shopping you want to come up here and check this out so this is the Central Park neighborhood directly through the gates. I love those gates. That is so cool. Is going to be another elevator bank. So we'll get in there and show that. But let me know in the comments, what do you think of this newly redesigned Central Park? I think it's really, really beautiful. And I also think it's very well designed with the openness. So again, there's deck eight um, elevator banks here. There's also going to be staterooms on deck eight and directly across from the central park is going to be another neighborhood this is the surfside neighborhood the surfside neighborhood is the designated family area on board and this is technically down a deck so we're going to be walking down to deck seven right now 
but I just want to pan and just give you an overview of this beautiful area. As you walk out on deck eight here, you are going to have sunshine and sun dries. So it looks like that's going to be a shop for bathing suits. So all things water. Looks like bathing suits, hat, water bottles. I saw goggles there in the, um, in the window. And then these steps will get us down to deck number seven. Now this is the ultimate family playground. That is what they're calling it. And I just look at all of these incredible colors. Right away here on my right, you do have an arcade. We will step inside here and check this out. Plenty of games here for the kiddos that love arcades. Of course, you're gonna purchase tokens to play these games right there on that orange machine. And look at this, this arcade is huge. It goes on and on. It's a little noisy in here, so if you're looking to get away from noise and wanting to take a break someplace quiet, go someplace else. Maybe check out the hideaway for adults. Leave the kids down here. As we step out here, you are gonna see the centerpiece of this neighborhood, which is a completely redesigned carousel. That carousel is really cool, very fun doesn't have your traditional carousel characters on it, but it has all kinds of fun little, look at that, that looks like a, it looks like a floaty, a flamingo floaty. I see a pineapple and a scuba mask right behind it. How cool is that? Right across from the carousel is gonna be Sugar Beach. Sugar Beach is a shop that we've seen on other Royal Caribbean ships. It's the candy store. So if you bring your kiddos on here, that's gonna be one of their favorite places to shop and visit on board, I can tell you that right now. You have another little play area right here for the kids that is closed right now, but it's like a, a massive jungle gym that kids can climb on. Guarantee you the kids are gonna have a really fun time here. Just past that jungle gym, we've got Pier 7. Pier 7 is another brand new specialty restaurant here on the Icon of the Seas. Now this is a place that you can come and get an awesome brunch. Something that's great about Pier 7 is kids eat for free here. So while it is a specialty restaurant, the parents can come and bring the kids and the kids can dine for free. We'll step inside here and just take a look really quick. But this will be one of those additional dining venues that you can purchase in your cruise planner. You've got a little preview of some of the bites right there. And then there is seating here on the inside as well as the outside. As we walk back here, there is a family restroom. And right past that is going to be the ultimate splash pad. So you can see chairs here where parents can sit and watch the kids. And we are all the way at the back of the ship. This splash pad is epic. It is huge. Plenty of places for the kids to come and have a good time. You've got a little water slide right there. And then you do have an area that is more of a pool with benches in it, seated right at the back of the ship there. But the splash pad area kind of goes on and on. You have the iconic Royal Caribbean bucket right there. And places for parents to even sit either inside the splash zone or just outside the splash zone and watch those kids play. I think that this neighborhood definitely lives up to the hype. It is one of the coolest neighborhoods that we have seen on a Royal Caribbean ship, uh, honestly, probably ever. Right outside of the splash pad is going to be the Lemon Post. This is, this is going to be the Mommy and Me bar. So this is gonna be the area where mom can come and get her spiked lemonade and the kids can come and get, well, a kid's lemonade. So this will be the area where you can come with your kids and you can all enjoy different types of beverages together, which is really fun. You do have a soda machine right here, so of course if you do have that soda package, you can come and get that there. And then free beverages right off the soda machine. So you've got water, juices, and condiments for these sweet bites, Surfside Bites, excuse me. Surfside Bites, now there is free options here, uh, but this will be a place where you can come and get fast casual food, things like popcorn chicken, hot dog, cheeseburger, pizza, and then sweet bites like churros. Here's what's so cool about this neighborhood in this area is that families can come down here for the day and they don't have to leave. You have everything down here. You have entertainment, you've got food, you've got drinks, 
That looks like that carousel is going right now. That is so fun. And right past the carousel, you will have another towel station. So you can see the towel station right there. I love the fact that there are so many to towel stations. I mean, truly, it just helps not, it helps the flow of traffic here on the Icon. So you're not having to run from all the way from one side of the ship to the other to get a towel, which is really cool. Surfside Eatery is right here. Another eatery here on the Icon. Now this is gonna be more like an additional buffet. So another place where people can come and grab small bites, things to eat that will be included in your cruise fare. You've got the giant flamingo here, which is of course the crowning jewel of the Surfside neighborhood. And something else that I love is the color of these Surfside uh, balconies. You've got so many bright colors. You see the eyes looking over us right up there. <laughs> Those are, that's a giant flamingo. I don't know if you can see it with glasses, which is really fun. So that is deck seven. Now we're gonna continue to go down to deck number six and walk the rest of the ship because deck seven, the rest of deck seven is going to be staterooms. So we're gonna take the stairs right down here and head to deck number six. There's a really nice flow of traffic, I think between decks eight and six to get here to Surfside. And it's really great because if you're on deck seven, you're on deck eight, or if you're on deck six, You've got just easy flow and an easy way to get into this family neighborhood. This is the entrance to the family neighborhood. Right next to that flamingo is a giant inflatable pool tube, <laughs> which is really fun. We're now getting inside. I can't believe the majority of the tour so far has been outdoor areas. That is truly incredible. Now, right past these doors, you are gonna have the entrance into Playmakers as well as Absolute Zero. The Playmakers is, of course, going to be the uh, standard Playmakers bar and grill that you've seen on a lot of different ships for Royal Caribbean. You do have bites there that you can eat as well as there is a full bar. And then just past Playmakers is Absolute Zero. This is the newly redesigned ice skating rink here on Icon of the Seas. As you can see, it's in the round instead of the traditional square ice skating rink that we've seen on so many other ships. This is truly an innovative space to see ice skating. They, of course, will have events in here as well, but this will be the main ice skating rink where you will be able to come in and you will be able to check out the ice skating shows. And then on the other side, you are going to have Adventure Ocean. So Adventure Ocean is going to be, of course, the kids club on board. So all the way back here at the back of deck number six. Again, they have built the back section of the ship for families. So if you've got small kids, you've got that family, massive family area right above here. And then the kids club right below it on deck number six. So if you are a family coming on Icon of the Seas, you may want to consider, especially if you have little ones, staying in the back side of the ship towards the aft. So of course you've got Adventure Ocean Juniors, which is for three to five year olds, Adventure Ocean Babies, which is six months to 36 months. And then you have the Big Kids Club over here. This is the theater. Oh my goodness, look at this. This is magical. So you have the tree that goes all the way up to all of those lights and then the stage right here. This is very, very cool. So the Big Kids Club is right back here. It's called the Hangout for 6 to 12 year olds. Now if you do have little ones, you'll check them in right here at the front of Adventure Ocean and then this area will be open to them. So you see they've got video game stations as well as TVs with areas and chairs to hang out. The workshop is directly behind those doors. That's an area where they do more hands-on activities. Look at how cute these little booths are for kids to hang out and chat. And right back here, you do have the arena. So this is a place where they can be a little bit more active. It's really, really cool. This area is huge, so I'm sure they're planning on having a large number of kids back here. But this is a great kids club. I've got to be honest, 
They've got like a miniature sports court in there. I see a net, maybe for some soccer or maybe air hockey. Air hockey, regular hockey. <laughs> oh, and they have these tables. So these tables we've seen on some other Royal Caribbean ships. These are interactive tables. So you don't have to have board games anymore. Board games are no longer needed. You can play games right here on the table with the touch of the screen. It's very, very cool. Another TV here where the kids can watch some movies. And they have quite a few number of video game stations, which is really nice too, because I do know that those video game stations are very popular for kids when they're coming here to Adventure Ocean. We're going to walk back out here and check out the rest of deck number six. But I do love the, the iconic colors of Adventure Ocean that have kind of evolved over the years. We saw on some of the newer ships, I feel like really with the Oasis class ships and some of the Quantum class ships, this redesign of this area and this tunnel going into Adventure Ocean. I love the fact that they have this rainbow right here at the very front. It is super, super fun. As we are coming out into the deck six bank of elevators this is only the beginning just past the elevators is the entrance into the royal promenade now this is the newly designed promenade area for royal caribbean deck six is similar to deck 15 so if you remember on deck 15 we talked about kind of how we were walking a jogging track we're going to do the same thing here uh, because there is a lot to see around this area. We'll start right here with Schooner Bar. Schooner Bar is, of course, one of the flagship bars for Royal Caribbean. So you can see this newly redesigned Schooner Bar. You still have the browns and the blues that we've seen on other Schooner Bar areas. The bar is right there in the middle. And then you do have a piano here. So this is another live music venue. You're going to see a lot of live music here on Icon of the Seas, specifically in the promenade. We've already seen some of the venues like Luz, but there are so many more venues here to see on deck five and six. As we walk right past the schooner bar, we are walking into another specialty restaurant. This is going to be Giovanni's, the Italian restaurant on board. Of course, we have seen Giovanni's on a lot of other Royal Caribbean ships. This is the new Giovanni's, the Gio Giovanni's um, Italian food and wine bar. If you haven't been here, the pizza is really good. The food portions are massive, so come hungry. And again, this is another one of those experiences that you can book in your Royal Caribbean app. We are gonna get downstairs very soon and see the pearl, but I do just wanna give a little look at it here because you've got such a great view of it from deck number six. That is the crowning jewel of the Icon of the Seas. We're gonna to continue to walk just through here. This is the entrance to Giovanni's. You have an area up here for live music. So of course, the promenade is known for being filled with music every night, especially for different parties like the 70s party or different events that they may have here in the promenade. So that band will be right there kind of in the center on deck six. Here's another brand new venue for the Icon of the Seas, and this is the Dueling Pianos Bar. We've seen Dueling Piano Bars on other cruise ships and other cruise lines, but we've never seen it on Royal Caribbean, and it is one of the venues that I think personally I am the most excited for. You see the bright red pianos there. There are seatings, booth in the, booths in the back, and then you do have a bar here to hang out, grab a drink, and check out the dueling pianos. I think that this is gonna be one of the coolest venues on the ship and probably one of the most popular. So if you are interested in the dueling pianos, I would come very early to grab your seats because once again, it's going to be an area that I think will fill up very quickly. Right past the dueling pianos, you are gonna walk out into another elevator corridor. So this is the, um, aft, or the, the forward elevator bank here on deck number six. 
There are a couple of things that are tucked away back here. The first one is going to be the Crown Lounge. That is the newly named Diamond Lounge. So this is the lounge if you are Diamond, Diamond Plus, or Pinnacle. And it is all the way here at the end of deck six, again, in the front of the ship. Another thing that you're gonna find here is going to be the fitness center. So the fitness center is not attached or right next to the spa like it is on other ships. It is here on deck number six. So you take a left down this hallway and you're gonna see bikes right there in front of us. You've got a classroom right here, kind of off the hallway. So of course there will be fitness classes and opportunities to do different things for a charge here in the fitness center, but the fitness center is free for you to use on board. So it looks like there's some consultation rooms over here and directly down these steps, you will have the fitness center. Of course, for such a large ship, we do expect a large fitness center and it looks like it's delivering here. You have all different kinds of equipment I see some stairs in front of us. There's some lockers for you to store things. Looks like a whole weight section. And you get ocean views up here, which is really nice too. So plenty of different types of equipment. Like I said, there are um, gym specialists, fitness instructors on board. So if you are looking to pay for something like that, you of course can get that done here on decks five and six. And just out here through these glass doors, you will have the entrance to the jogging track. So you can see that right there. And then there's lots of water stations here in the gym as well. So if you're looking for a water refill station, a place to refill that water bottle, and you can't find one, just hop on over to the gym. You can find that here on decks five and six. Right across from the Dueling Piano Bar, you are gonna have the Comedy Club. So of course, this is a place where it is ticketed. So if you are coming to check out comedy, you're gonna to wanna to get those tickets ahead of time. Look at the windows as we walk past. That is so fun. So the comedy club is up here on deck number six. We are now in the Pearl Cafe. So the Pearl Cafe, the main eatery, is located up here on deck number six. You are gonna have all different types of food options up here. There are a lot of different sandwiches. I see it pulled barbecue chicken, mushroom and, uh, and barrera, roasted apple and mozzarella, as well as a lot of different desserts. So these are of course free and included. And then you do have a coffee station right there as well. So for those of you that need to wake up and get the coffee, you'll be able to get that right there. There are a lot of seating areas up here. And of course, one of my favorite parts of this area is the fact that it is floor to ceiling windows. We have never had so much light in the Royal Promenade, specifically natural light before. It truly is stunning. Making our way through Pro Cafe, we are now going to find ourselves in Baleros. Baleros is the Spanish style bar that you'll find on many Royal Caribbean ships, even Royal Caribbean ships dating back 20 years, you will find Boleros bars. There's a nice dance floor in here. This is of course another venue where there will be Latin music. They typically have a Latin band on board for music. It's one of the most, I think one of my favorite venues to come and enjoy a drink and listen to music. The Boleros bar is right here. If you've never had a frozen mojito, this is the time to try one when you come on Icon of the Seas. It's one of my favorite drinks for the Royal Caribbean Blanche. Check out those Domino statues right there. Those are very cool. And now we're gonna make our way down to deck number five. We're gonna, again, think of this as a track. So we're gonna start here by walking right by guest services. This is a beautiful guest services area, completely redesigned. And deck five is gonna have a lot of your shopping. So port merchants, which is where you're gonna be able to purchase things like cigars, um, your cigarettes and alcohol will all be right here. They also sell, it looks like, essentials and snacks in there. So if you need certain medications or like toothpaste, you'll be able to find those there. You see these beautiful watches on display as we walk towards the back of deck number five. And we are in the aft elevator section right now. So at the very back of the ship is going to be where your main dining room will set. We're gonna walk in there and check that out. 
The dining room is of course going to span multiple decks. You will figure out which deck you are on by looking at your C-Pass card. So as we walk in here, you'll be able to see a beautiful chandelier in the middle and then tables all the way around. So we'll just give you a quick look at the dining room. Now this is completely redesigned for Royal Caribbean. It's, it's elevated. It feels really, really elegant. There's a lot of the dark woods on here, which does kind of take me back to classic cruising. It's interesting. So many dining rooms that we see nowadays are filled with like blues and reds. This is filled with golds and browns. It truly is beautiful. So you can see this spans from decks three, four, and five. Again, you'll find out which deck you are on by looking at your C-Pass card. I really like this main dining room a lot. And I'm not someone that typically is like a fan of main dining rooms, but this is just very classy and very elevated. Let me know what you think in the comments. Okay, we're gonna walk out of the dining room, back through the elevator bank, and then we're gonna walk, continue to walk the Royal Promenade. This Royal Promenade is truly massive and it's so open. That's what I think I can't get over on this ship is how open things feel, which is great because so many people have already asked the question, does it feel busy or will it feel busy once the ship is actually moving and you are cruising? And it's yet to be seen, but I have a feeling it's not gonna feel as busy as you think. You've got bathrooms through these hallways, women's on one side, men's on the other. Right next to those, you will have next cruise. So this is where you will come and book all your future vacations. Don't forget, you can book with your travel agent and book next cruise. So you can get the next cruise perks and you can book with your travel agent if you have their information, their name, their agency, um, name, things like that. Of course, JJ Cruise does book Icon of the Seas and we have a lot of clients going on it this year. So if you do want to book for us, with us, head over to jjcruise.com and we'd be happy to help you out. This is Point and Feather. This is, of course, the pub on board. Another area where you're going to find live music. There's going to be live music at all of these open venues. So I'm interested to see how the music kind of flows and works all together. Here is the entrance where you can come on the Icon of the Seas. Just past the check-in area is going to be the escalators. Now we've talked a lot about these escalators because we knew that the escalators were gonna be on board. This is a fast way to get down to the casino. So you don't have to take the elevator if you don't need it. We will get down there eventually, but we are now standing outside of the Pearl. The beautiful, beautiful Pearl. We were obviously just up inside of there. We got a view of the Pearl when we were up on deck six. But it is truly, truly massive. It's just as big as it looks. <laughs> this is, of course, check-in for a preview. So that is why you see so many people here. I don't think there will be normally this many people here um, throughout the day. But right in front of me, you do have Starbucks. Now, Starbucks is, of course, on a lot of different cruise ships. And if you are a Starbucks fan, you can get that Starbucks drink right there. I'm going to walk over to the other side here for a minute because this is going to be where you're going to find some shopping. So this giant Royal Caribbean logo is where you're going to find your logo shop. I know. It makes a lot of sense. You see some spirit jerseys through there. Jerseys are super hot right now. I'm a big fan of those. And a lot of different types of merch on display. So plenty of cool inaugural season merch, lots of different things that you can come and check out. You have another area here that is, it looks like another guest services area. So if you do need additional help, guest services kind of spans between these two areas and is also behind the Pearl. And just past Starbucks on the other side, you will have some additional shopping. So you've got the collection over there. The collection is going to be a little bit more high end. Things like handbags will be found in there. Yes, I see some very expensive brands through the window. Things like Louis Vuitton. If you bring the budget to go shopping on a cruise ship, what do you buy? Let me know in the comments. Just past the shopping area, you are going to have an ATM there. 
So if you're gonna to continue to walk past the Pearl, you'll see the ATM kind of tucked away in the corner, right outside of Sorrento's. So this is your free included pizza. And directly across from the pizza place will be Spotlight Karaoke. Spotlight Karaoke we've seen on a few other Royal Caribbean ships, but this is your karaoke bar. So if you are a karaoke fan, it's the fully and newly redesigned Spotlight Karaoke. Check out that stage. That is so cool. You truly can be a karaoke star here on Icon of the Seas. There's a full bar in here, as well as um, areas where you can rent out to get private um, karaoke stations. So that is, of course, something that is an additional paid for experience, but that can be found back here as well. Two other stores directly across from karaoke, you do have Solera Beauty, which is gonna be your beauty shop on board. So things like makeup, um, perfumes, colognes, as well as Effie, which is over there too. So if you are a fan of jewelry, you can check those out over there. We are now towards the front of this section of the ship, the forward bank of elevators. And this will be where the Royal Theater will be found. The Royal Theater is of course gonna be the home of the Wizard of Oz, as well as a few other shows. Specialty acts will be in here as well. And then it does span two decks. So decks four and five will have seats. Now I heard this theater was going to be massive and it absolutely is. Looks like they are getting ready for a presentation in here. So we're gonna walk out, but again, decks four and five is where you're gonna be able to find seating for the shows. When you come on the ship, before you get here, you will want to reserve tickets to the shows in your cruise planner. You got bathrooms right outside the theater. It is very important for the large ships like this for you to plan ahead and get those tickets. Tickets for shows typically open up about 45 to 60 days in advance. You just have to keep checking to watch when they open up and get tickets to the shows. It's very, very important. So down here is of course gonna be the deck four entrance into the theater. And we are gonna walk around and through the music hall. Just outside of the theater, there's men's and women's restrooms on either side. And the music hall is going to be your concert venue on board. So another area for live music. There's a full bar in here. And this venue also spans two decks. So you will have this venue here on deck four as well as deck three. There is a large dance floor down there, as well as another bar. And this will be a venue that you can come. I have a feeling this will be a very popular late night venue. So if you are a, a nightclub person or a live music person and like to stay up late into the night, this is gonna be the deck for you. Because not only will you have this venue that's open late, we're also walking into Casino Royale, the casino on board, which will also be open late. This casino is fully redesigned. They've got a lot of different types of slot machines in here. Of course, they're gonna have tables. There will be a smoking section and a non-smoking section with a bar right here in the middle. So you've got that bar, the cashier is right past the bar. This is a really, really nice casino. Now, right off of the bar, you do have these doors which will take you through to the escalators. So easy access between the casino and the promenade, specifically the casino and pizza. <laughs> so if you are someone that likes late night food, when you're taking your chances on the tables or the slots, this will be the area for you. It's gonna be very important to know where those escalators are. Wow, this casino never ends. There are banks of games, after banks of games, as well as table section after table section. I thought that the table sections were all back there, but of course, here is another table section over here. Yeah, this is a huge casino. There will be a lot of new games in here, so you're gonna see all different types of games that maybe you haven't seen on other ships. This uh, carnival game is one of them. Of course, Wonder Boost Gold, so We'll have to explore the casino a little bit more, but that is a great place to come and take your chances. There's bathrooms right here at the front of the casino. And of course, if you don't know anything about Royal Caribbean's casino program, we have a video on that that you can check out. 
how the uh, loyalty program works and how you can earn a free cruise by gambling in the casino. We are here in the back of the ship. This is, of course, where another entrance into the dining room will be. And then this is where the aft bank of elevators are. So that was deck four. We are going to hop on down to deck number three. We've made it here to deck number three. Again, we came right downstairs. So we're in uh, the aft bank of elevators, more towards the back of the ship. This will be the ground level entrance into that dining room. So we, of course, went in and saw it on deck number five. But this is just another look here of this beautifully redesigned dining room here on Icon of the Seas. So plenty of seating in here. And deck three, specifically on this side of deck three, is going to have the dining room. Directly in front of me is going to be the conference center. So if you are here for work or if you're here um, on business and you've got meetings that will be down here on deck three, you're going to take the aft bank of elevators. And then on the other side of that is the music hall and the additional elevators. So that is mostly deck three here, music hall, conference center, as well as your dining room. So that is it for the icon of the seas. Mm -hmm.